Shalom. Peace and blessings, beloved. I have tried to make this video two, three times this morning, and it seems like the enemy just doesn't want it to happen. I'm on a completely different computer now after I have finished it, but um, I don't like giving up on things too easily. One of the reasons why is um, time. Time has been something that the Spirit has kept on my mind. Book of Matthews, and I'm going to do this fast because maybe then YouTube won't kick the video back and it'll be able to get through to the elect. Book of Matthews, chapter 24, verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake. For the children of the Most High God, for their sake. Those days shall be shortened. Those days shall be shortened. Okay, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to deal with time because time did something. That's one of the reasons I'm doing this is because all of us I know have noticed time is warping. It's warbling. And man has messed with time. They have messed with seasons and laws, but this time. The Most High has shortened the days for the elect's sake. If you notice that you get confused about what day of the week it is, what time it is, an hour seem to go by like a minute, you can't feel the time. It is for the elect's sake, Yasharel's sake, that the Most High has shortened the time. Okay? But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. He shortened the days. It is so noticeable. And I had videos of this. Even scientists want to shorten the minute to 59 seconds. I don't know if you can see it. I had it on my other video. Scientists want to shorten the minute to 59 seconds. Because even they have noticed time has sped up. But see, once upon a time, man himself, as you know, even now, they mess with time, okay? They mess with time, all right? Thinking that they have the power over the manner in which the Most High set things up. I'm trying to find the uh, what what I had to put it in here for you. And to do it quickly, beloved, because, all right, the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand unto a time and times and the dividing of times. Let's go back over this. He, the enemy, shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. One of the things we know when you think about times and laws, it was a law, a statute, and a command forever that we honor the Sabbath, okay, and keep it holy. But Constantine, who was secretly a sun worshiper, of the so-called no god Mithras, he supposedly made Christianity the religion of the Roman Empire. But one of the other things that he did was change the law so that Sunday became the so-called holy day, the day of worship. He made it a law that you could not work. And many of us here in America, and I'm sure in many other countries around the world, Saturday became known as the day when you get most of your work done, you run your errands, anything around the house needs fixing. Saturday, Saturday. This was not by accident. Remember, 
This particular one, he shall speak great words as though he's equal to the Most High, to wear out the saints of the Most High. See, here in this country of our captivity, we weren't given choice but to follow the ways of the heathen. And we could, we weren't even allowed to learn how to read and write to know that we actually weren't worshiping on the Sabbath, even if we had tried to. Okay? They thought to change times and laws. What was the other law that they changed? They changed supposedly the day of worship from the Sabbath to Sunday. That was a law that Constantine made at the meeting of Nicaea, okay? One of the other things, remember, and think to change times and law, times and laws. When else in history did they change times and laws? In 1752, they changed the calendar. They literally removed 11 days. 11 days. Something happened in 1752 with time. Okay. They chose to make Wednesday, September 3rd, 1752. They took Wednesday, September 3rd, 1752. And by the very next day, Thursday, declared it was Thursday, September 14th. 1752. They eliminated 11 days. The British were going under the Gregorian calendar and said they were trying to make it line up with the times on the Julian calendar. Bottom line, they thought to change times and laws. In 1752, in September, Wednesday, it went from September 3rd, Wednesday, 1752, to the very next day on Thursday, it was September 14th, 1752. They just eradicated 11 days, just poof, gone. There was another thing they did in 1752. At that time, before these laws and times were changed, March 25th was considered the day of the new year. In those days, 1752. But they decided to make the new year January 1st. January 1st. Okay? And when you look at the calendar, you know something's off if you understand the language of the calendar. September represents seventh month. October. October represents the eighth month. November. Nueve represents the ninth month. December, yes, represents the 10th month. So it's hidden, but it's right in front of your face all at the same time. I'm trying to do this fast. I had pictures and different things on the other video. YouTube made it go poof. And my time, it's messing with my time, but my time is going to be dedicated to the Most High God, serving and helping where I can. But you got to understand something. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. God knew what the people, the heathen was going to do. That's why he told his prophet Daniel. And Daniel spoke about it. Daniel spoke about it when he said, <clears throat> He shall speak great words against the Most High and wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And they will and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. They shall. Daylight saving time, spring saving time. But there is a new time. And you yourselves are witnessing this, brothers and sisters. You yourselves are experiencing it. Matthews chapter 24, verse 22. Except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved, but for the elect's sake. Those days shall be shortened. Who shortened these days? Those days. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not a man. 
See, they thought to change times and law, but they couldn't. We know when the Sabbath is, or we honor the seventh day that we understand to be the seventh day as the Sabbath, but understand, they eliminated 11 days off of the calendar, just poof. From September 3rd, Wednesday, 1752, to the very next day, changed that Thursday. It wasn't September 4th, like a day after the September 3rd. No, it was September 14th. They just, poof, eliminated it. Right now, scientists want to make the minute 59 seconds. Why? Because they feel the speeding up of time. They're talking about the rotation and the revolution of the earth is speeded up. Mm. God's word is gone forth and does not come back. For it accomplishes just what he meant it to, brothers and sisters. Now, let me say this again so that you can be encouraged. Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. But for the elect's sake. who sake? See, he didn't do this for the world. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Do you know, beloved God Almighty, for your sake, for the house of Yasharel, for the elect's sake. Wait a minute now. Those days shall be shortened. So. When you feel time warble on you, when you hit the warp, and you go, wait a minute, I don't even know what day it is. Sometimes I get up and go, okay, is it Tuesday, Wednesday? I'm, I just feel time now. Like, I'm not sure if it's a Monday day, a Wednesday day. Some days I get stuck in Friday, and it's Wednesday, but I'm thinking Friday, and it just keep being Friday until finally we have Friday. Time is just moving. But why is it moving, beloved? And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. See, the heathen thinks that they can destroy the earth. And when their destruction comes, they won't take everybody with them. But see, God, he knows everything. His eyes run to and fro upon the earth. He knows the thoughts of man. And it will come to naught. He will laugh them to scorn. They're not going to escape by killing everybody, going postal, so to speak, all over the world. You're not going to do it because the Most High is in control. He's got the first, last, and final word. So when you notice time is acting strange, it is for your sake. Those days have been shortened. When you see time warble, it is the most high letting you know he is that much closer to bringing this thing to a final conclusion. Yes, beloved. I have far more to share on my other video, but again, YouTube, the situation just kicked it back. So, I want you to be encouraged, even when you notice time speeding up. It is for your sake, the most high. He said it. Those days shall. You know the way the day would have been this long? They shall be shortened. So, if it's speeding up and you're going, I'm not crazy. No, you're not. It is for your sake. These days have been shortened. So, when time does a warble. And it will. Even the old scientists and the heathens are noticing. Remember, it is for your sake. Those days have been short. Be encouraged, beloved. Shalom.